For money, now may be a good time to refinance your home mortgage. U of I Extension Educator Kathy Sweedler is joining us over video, cha video chat this morning to share ways refinancing your home can serve as a benefit. Good morning, Kathy. How you doing? Good. Good morning. Good. Um, so, is now a good time to refinance? It might be a good time to start thinking about that, right? That's right. So we're looking at lower interest rates now than we've seen um, in the last few years. So it's a, it's probably a good time for people that have a home mortgage to sort of pause and do some research and thinking to consider whether refinancing their mortgage makes sense. So why would we want to consider refinancing? Well, there's a lot of different things that motivate people. Um, some people, you know, are interested in getting a lower interest rate and saving on the amount of interest they pay over the total amount of their loan, assuming they don't change the length of the loan. Um, it can also result, depending on variables, of course, um, you know, lowering your monthly payment. And this could be especially helpful for people who maybe have less of a paycheck coming in at this moment. Some people may want to change the length of the, their mortgage. They might want to shorten it and pay it off sooner. Um, they may want to lengthen it and get more leverage out of their money. So these are all really important things to consider. And then, of course, if somebody has an adjustable rate mortgage, it, there are sometimes advantages to locking it in at a lower rate um, with the expectation that rates could rise in future years. But it doesn't necessarily make sense for everyone to refinance. No, it doesn't always make sense to refinance. And that's why it's kind of hard about talking about it without, you know, looking at the particular situation. But people need to think about things like, what are the fees going to cost them to refinance? And depending on how long they're going to live in that home, they may or may not recover the cost of those fees. So if people think that somebody thinks they may be moving in a year or two, the savings they might gain from refinancing might not override the cost and fees, for example. Um, and then, of course, we can quote what the average interest rates are on right refinancing, but what kind of interest rate you can get will depend on not only the economy, but also on your um, credit report. So these are all variables that people really need to sit down and think about for their own perspective. So Kathy, what else should people uh, think about when they are thinking about doing this? I think you just need to take some time to do your research, you know, um, go online. There's some good online calculators at like places like NerdWallet or Bankrate or other financial websites and kind of run some numbers. Are you even close to it making a difference in cost that makes sense for you? And then also, you know, thinking about um, doing some extra reading. So there's a very nice consumer guide to uh, mortgage refinancing through the Federal Reserve Board that you can look at that's online. And you, again, think about the fact that every different, I mean, the different financial institutions may be offering different interest rates. So you might want to also do some shopping around if you think this is a good strategy for you. And Kathy, you at the Extension Office are always, you guys always have something going on to help people who might need some extra help with their finances or just need somebody to talk to. How can they get in touch with you? So I'm really excited about the fact that we're offering a summer webinar series called Let's Talk Money, which will be talking about a lot of different financial topics, but also, um, you know, how do you converse with your family and financial professionals about money? And so you can um, register for that at go.illinois.edu talk um, slash talk money. And these will be Thursday nights at 630 for about an hour and they're free. So they kick off next week on June 4th. Awesome. You always have something to help everybody out in the community. I love it. Well, we're, you know, trying different ways to reach out to people. We know that a lot of people are under financial challenges right now, and um, reaching out to your local extension office is a great way to kind of check out what we're doing. So um, just Google University of Illinois Extension and you'll find us. Great, Kathy. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.